Welcome back to Systems Within Systems. Today we're gonna to talk about speed and power in your punching and how to generate more power in your punch and also with the motion and movement of your punch. And to do that, one of the big concepts we're gonna talk about is the energy wall. How to develop power from using an energy wall. So you have this imaginary wall in front of you that you're actually gonna be hitting, all right? And then that energy wall actually the person or the individuals become that energy wall. That way when you're practicing at home, you're also practicing with the same hitting power and speed that you'll be using in a real life situation. Speed and power doesn't go with how big your arms are, how big you are, unless you're pushing. So if you have a person that's 300 pounds and they're pushing through their punch and they're putting the whole body weight through it, then of course it's gonna hurt a smaller person or equal out with a bigger person. Real power is gonna come down from the speed and creating the shock wave. All right, for this next segment, talking more about the energy wall, I'm gonna bring out instructor Ben Brown. Now, what we talked about <clears throat> was that the person becoming the wall, right? Becoming the energy wall. So the energy wall really becomes the individual that's in front of you. So the way that you practice at home, when you're just throwing things and moving around, is the same way that you would actually do in real life. So you actually start developing power and speed through that. And the whole idea is in the motion. So if he's the wall and I'm standing here, so I'll take a fight position, as I'm coming to it, I'm gonna, that's the wall. That's when I'm touching the wall, right? Remember we talked about just touching it, then I push in a little bit, right? To form that gravity well. And then the well pushes back, that causes the rings, that causes the percussion punch that actually is effective, right? So as I'm standing here, I'm gonna come to, right? I'm gonna move in a little bit, extend the arm a little bit, and as I come back, that's the punch on the back motion, that's the hit. If I'm coming in here, right, I'm coming to, you see where I target a smaller area of my fist? I'm coming in here, extending a little bit, back, that's the motion. So now, if I'm standing, I'm just hitting, boom, boom, I'm hitting. It's coming in and hitting on the back motion, on the back motion. This is also how you get into open hand technique. I can hit with all fingers, coming in, coming here, just touching, coming back, you see? I'm not taking my fingers like you're watching the movies, five fingers of death, and going through it, and the hands bend, one finger moves to the other. It's coming to and moving. I can, as you start to develop different techniques, it comes through and moves, right? Now, another way of actually practicing that with an individual, if they turn their back to you, so they spread their legs a little bit, just give a little bit of motion, and they don't fight you. So when people first start practicing this, they'll practice from here and they'll push. And so that's not what you want. It has to be on the back motion. So they're just very relaxed sitting here, right? Just staying in that position, sitting down in it. As I come through, I'm gonna come in, touch, extend, and come back. So they just move forward easily. It's a good way to start to practice your percussion punching. So you see, I'm not doing this and coming forward, because he'll, he'll move too. I'm not doing this, this is what everybody's gonna do. All right, I'm coming to, extending, and coming back, okay? It's that back motion, boom, that explodes, allows you to hit to the target, boom, and come out. Now, if he's facing me in a fight position, he becomes the energy wall. Now, say I'm gonna hit here, in here. This is what causes the shock waves even to be more effective. If I'm coming out here and I hit one, two, it goes one, back, two, back. So it causes a different shock wave and it causes the brain to shut down. It panics and shuts off. It happens so fast too. Like the person just drops and size doesn't mean anything at that point. So if he's standing here and I take my fingers and I come here, this moves here, then this moves here, this moves here. So it's just hitting, hitting, right, hitting. It just comes in, but it pushes on the back motion. Here, right, motion, hit. Here, hit, hit. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked us, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to see more, you can come check out the website, the Facebook page, or the podcast. You can find all the links in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching again.